African centered, mm-hmm. right? So, but I'm gonna do something. I gotta do something with all this information. I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. So after the Mike Brown situation, like most of us, you know, that's when the ancestors started to mm-hmm. speak. Uh, it's it's your time. Mm-hmm. Go, because I, what I didn't see, I seen a lot of women out there, but I didn't see them organized. Right. And I, but I can, I could feel the pain and the you know that the anger of their men being so you know ridiculed and beat down so within that that's where it came from but it's not to forget about the black man Mm -hmm. it's actually to strengthen the black man because if we are strengthened being the beginning of of it all you know the mothers of the earth then we can strengthen everything that comes Mm -hmm. through us so that's the first half of you know that that's one of the points that I have to I have to put out there because a lot of times people see black women with a purpose are oh, y'all feminists y'all don't yeah. like that. no mm-hmm. we love our mm-hmm. brothers and we support our brothers that's why we do things with you know other male organizations mm-hmm. or other organizations period you know as as the Black Panther Party and things like that but um, as far as assisting us we urge you know, black men to come along and do the pro- the programs with us because there are black boys mm-hmm. that need um mm-hmm. that need that role model and that attention and that model, you know, of a black man. We've actually had um young men come to the Saturday program and we do a breakout session for the thirteen year olds and we'll do it for the older ones as well this time. But it did become, you know, we can tell like, wait a minute, these boys don't want to talk to us, Mm -hmm. you know? So we, we actually have put it out there and people can go to our website and, uh, which is, uh, bwwpurpose.com and they can go ahead and sign up to, to volunteer because we are looking for volunteers, especially male volunteers. And I can't say that, I don't think I've been knowing Don a year yet, but um, Don and I kind of met and connected at, I want to say, another event that I co-hosted, What About Us, Mm -hmm. a celebration of black manhood. And she did reach out to me about volunteering, and I'm going to make it a priority to make sure that I get down there and help Mm -hmm. you all out Mm -hmm. with the Saturday um, program moving forward. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I know. I myself need to get involved. Um, and I've been saying this for a minute. But I just be having a million and one things going on. I don't like committing to everything, knowing that I can't give my time to everything. Oh, that's but, understandable. Um, right. But um, I definitely do want to um, give some time to you all. Um, because I I love what you're doing. Um and I definitely, I want to get my kids into Saturday school. So I do want to um, touch on that, getting into that. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I want to know <laughs> when the Saturday school starts and exactly, you know, what do parents have to do to sign up and, you know, how do we get our kids involved and all that good stuff. The Saturday program, um, also, you can go to the website mm-hmm. and um, just click the link to, you know, you want the application and we'll send it out to you. Um, it will be starting back up in September, okay. um, back at Pomoja. Okay. Which Pomoja Elementary is the best. Mm-hmm. So everybody need to, you know, go look that up. Right. Pomoja at Cole. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Now, in terms of, I want to backtrack a little bit. Um, it's something we've been kind of having a running conversation about mm-hmm. is, um, you mentioned earlier everybody has their niche and everybody has oh, yeah. some some work in a Definitely in a community. Oh yeah. And we talked about um although some people may want to work with children, they're not necessarily uh, what's the right word? Maybe that's not their creator given Yeah, it's not their talent. Yeah, right? that's not their talent. Because it takes a talent. They're not equipped so, to do it. So in terms of volunteers, and April just said, you know, well, it may be hard. And I know it's, my schedule is hard, and I'm not saying that as an excuse, but I really do overcommit myself a lot of times. What are you looking for in volunteers? Like, do they have to go through a background check? Are you looking for consistent people to come every week? Or can they come, like, maybe one session? Or what, 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 what are you looking for? So, um, as far as the, um, the volunteering for the school, 
um because we also need volunteers for the garden as well but um for the school yes we do everybody has to go through a background mm-hmm. check we all did we you know that's just safety for the children yeah. um so that's a must and then we do understand that everybody can't, can't work with can't kids. work with kids right. you know that ain't everybody's calling mm-hmm. and it's okay but <laughs> but um there's things like you know preparing the snack preparing the mm-hmm. breakfast um even just doing the fitness with them you know which that doesn't take a whole lot mm-hmm. um of you know redirection really right. um you know walking them to the garden things like that is what we're looking for okay yeah i think that that was a good question rob because like when when many people hear of volunteer opportunities or things that people are doing they automatically go to just the specifics you know like okay the school and you know garden. i can't garden you know i can't right. teach Do they want me to you teach know, you right, right 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 so right. so it's really important for people to know that there are other areas that you can be used in you don't oh, have yeah. to just be in the classroom teaching you can like she said prepare snacks or walk the kids to the garden and things like that you can be used in various areas right so don't hesitate for um don't hesitate to sign up to volunteer thinking that you just have to be a teacher or a gardener or you know anything like that but just if you feel like you know you want to lend a helping hand just go in and just see what you know what is being done and where you can lend your hand at that's right. um and that's the most important thing uh with our people like it, it doesn't have to be specific you don't have to be you know gifted in whatever area is just if you're willing to give some time and some love and you know um some passion to this program then sign up you know most and so um and the other thing is we're always looking for uh, donations because mm-hmm. we are a true grassroots organization. Right. We don't have the, and aren't looking for the, you know, 501 mm-hmm. government funding. Everything that you see black women with the purpose do and um, have rolled out, it came from donations or it has come from our pockets. Mm-hmm. I smile because that's so dope to me because mm-hmm. I believe I work in the nonprofit sector and most of my career is in the nonprofit sector and y'all know I got qualms with that sector. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I think um, we all I'm not, do. I'm not I'm not knocking anyone with a five oh one C three. Right. Yeah. I'm not knocking anyone with a five oh one C three. However, I believe that as Garveyites I mentioned earlier, self determination, self reliance and self dependence. Mm-hmm. And I mean that sacrifice. We gotta dig deep in our pockets. We say the children are the future and we believe in them. We gotta put money where our mm-hmm. mouth is, right? Mm-hmm. And we can't rely just on funding a lot of times people just want to buy your voice and buy what you're doing right yep. so you know it's gonna take us you know we we can't just complain continue to complain are these kids bad and boo? we got to put time energy effort and resources yep. into providing something to, like you said redirect oh yeah you know oh yeah some of those bags i believe that too i um actually had a um i did i did a summer program last year i didn't run it this year um because i was on the fence about registering it as a 501c3 or just doing it how i've been doing it out of my pockets and just pushing and because i had you know i i was persistent i got donations and things like that but um i had a lot of people like oh get a 501c3 get a 501c3 and i'm like i really didn't want to go that route yeah. i really don't want to do that and so um just seeing y'all um you know push through and like he said committing time resources and energy and its funds um it really has brought me back to my original decision to not you know go that route and to keep doing it how i was doing it um and i think it's a beautiful thing like i i i've noticed i i was in i worked with a lot of nonprofits as well and i just was in that mindset you know like you know this is how you get the money this is how you get the support this is how you get the funds but when I see you all, you know, it's I'm working now with a lot of grassroots organizations, mm-hmm, you know, not mm-hmm. necessarily nonprofits. And it's like, what? Like, you know, <laughs> these people are dedicated, you know, I mean, oh, yeah. beyond dedicated to any nonprofit um, that I have ever worked with. And um, and when I just witnessed that and the passion and and not being corrupted you know by having to get funds and doing things Mm -hmm. a certain way because you have to get these funds it's just refreshing and it's amazing and it's like it's it's inspiring it's like yeah okay i think it becomes a testimony of Mm -hmm. you know 
our true ability and collectivity. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's nothing against, you know, anybody who does do the 501 or, you know, those, you know, sectors. But if we want to get to a place where we know what our strengths and our ability is, we have to test it. That's true. You know, you got to get to a point where you say, okay, I'm going to do this Mm -hmm. and then see what happens. Right. You know, the the biggest stumbling block is fear. Mm -hmm. You know, that is, it's so, you know, debilitating. Like it 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 stops you, it It cripples you because you start to think. and, And a lot of times we move in a place to where you doing things out of comfort Mm -hmm. and out of what you're used to. So if you, all you know is you have to get this 501 to be able to do these things, then that's what you're normally going to do. Mm -hmm. So to step outside of the box is a beautiful thing. And to actually see it flourish is even better. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if we just take that, you know, that whole belief, that whole faith thing and and make it work because the faith is not in anything other than yourself is where it should lie. That's yeah. right. You know. Garvey said, without confidence in the race of life, you are twice defeated. Mm. And we talked mm. about in the last mm. hour, mm. we talked mm. about in the last hour how, you know, being grassroots, you know, Black Tax Collective is doing the Sunday school, you are doing the Saturday school, which is beautiful. Um, and I want to speak to that issue in a minute. But, you know, you do these grassroots initiative and you see things manifest what does that do to the psyche of the people? Like, yo, we did that. Yeah, like, that's you know what I'm saying. saying. You're gonna start don't. seeing more. <laughs> you're gonna start seeing more people taking risk and more projects and more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which is which is which dope. is exactly what it's about. Mm-hmm. It's not at all about what you can do. It's about the foundation that you lay for the next person. That's right. It's about being in the continuation of the struggle for your people. Mm. Period. Yeah. Mm. Right. I want to speak to the idea. Uh, I mentioned that, you know, Black Tax does the Sunday school and you all do the Saturday school. And a lot of people will say unity. And we that's the buzzword right now. And some people may see that as disunity, but I don't see that as disunity. And, and, and the reason why I don't see that as disunity, one, we're doing them on two different days. Two, the more African-centered education we can get out there, if 150 organizations doing it, it ain't enough. We may have a little bit of a different approach, different focuses yeah. or things that we touch on, but I don't think that that, you know, promotes this unity. I mm-hmm. think that a lot of times, and I know Asia is working really hard to organize this community calendar just so we can kind of know who's doing what and who's got what going on. Sometimes yeah. it's just ignorance. We don't know who's right. out there and who's very, doing yeah, what. Really, but, but, but at the same time, certain organizations, you have a specific demographic or mm-hmm. you have – a specific people that you're going to reach black women with a purpose are going to reach some people that black tax collectives Can't, aren't going to reach. Right. And that's, that's fine. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. And vice versa. For right. Sure. Right. So, so yeah, it's not no disunity and nothing like that. It's actually, I think that we're complimenting each other. Most we're definitely. Working collaboratively. Um, Most more definitely. than we realize we are. Most definitely. I think it goes back to uh, what I was saying earlier about it. everybody has their niche mm-hmm. because we reach children, you know, um, that other organization may reach um, specifically boys. Mm-hmm. Another organization may reach specifically uh, females. So um, I don't think it's disunity. I think uh, if we come together, I think in the whole that's coming together collectively because everybody has a part that they play. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what I love about Black Women with a Purpose too. Everybody come in with their talent and they able to work that. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 20. I love y'all. I wish y'all was in the studio. Like, she's exuding so much um, <laughs> passion and yes. enthusiasm. And she, she man, the- she was in a conscious conversation, and she was standing up. <laughs> and I was like, and when dope. she came, when Don came, she's like, this my daughter. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's your daughter? That's, that's oh, dope. my God. Like, yes, the, I love it. The future's it. in I love good it. hands, y'all. Yes, like, yes. No, when I say like, seriously, it's dope. It's dope. it is. I got really to give it all to her and my father. Is, they put it all in me. So, and my ancestors, of course, indeed, indeed. Yeah, they manifested it in me. So. so we got two young ladies in the green room. Y'all want to say something? Y'all want to get on the mic and say something? <laughs> like, You've been standing like, in the door the, the whole the, time. Right. Like, let me get a piece of that mic. <laughs> Observe. Let me get some of that mic. All right, we we, we gonna let you slide this time because y'all gonna be coming. Oh, we gonna have to have you back on show journalism. You know, oh, of course.